Hey, this is Paolo from the MB Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the main stabs from the track Drop It by BTK, but is the Optip remix. So let's just listen to the original. That wow is what we're gonna be creating. There you go. But before you get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and also explore all of our content because we have a lot. If you already subscribed, please share this with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this resource because that helps us grow the channel a lot and it allows us to keep making these videos. Also, if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as we can hear in the reference, there's a lot of different movements and there's also a lot of dissonance. So let's just duplicate this serum and let's start from scratch. Let me just deactivate these EQs. And now let's go into serum. And so here I have an initialized patch. Nothing super special. The first thing we want to do is to set up a really detuned stack of soul waves. So let's just add a lot of units on here. And let's detune this one really high. And maybe this one a bit lower. So we just want a lot of detuned soul waves. Then let's map an LFO into each oscillator like this. Let's set this on trigger and then let's create a shape like this. That fades out as soon as the staff is done because that's the length of the staff. Then let's run everything through a filter. Both oscillators here. And we want to create a movement like that. So let's map a different LFO here. There you go. Let's set this on envelope and then let's create a different shape for this. So for example, we can do something like this. And then we can play with this point. There you go. Of course, here is the part where you experiment. Depending on where do you want the resonance spot of your steps. Let's also increase the drive. And you can also play with the curves. There you go. I think that's fine for now. Now let's go into the effects. Let's activate the hyper. So it's a bit more stereo. Then let's add some distortion. Then let's add a chorus to increase the detuned feel of the sound. That sounds nice. Let's add a compressor and let's set it to some multiband. And you can play with this low pass depending on how bright do you want the steps to be. Nice. So now uh, this is enough for us in Serum. But again, the purpose of these tutorials is for you to learn how to create your own original versions of this type of sounds. So in this, I would encourage you to use different waveforms. For example, use the spectral waveforms, play them with different octaves and with different levels. Like that. Let's bring this down. Let's change the waveform. That sounds interesting enough. Let's use a river filter, for example. That's very interesting and it's a bit more original. Now, let's just go back into the regular saw waves by doing this init function on the wavetable editor. And this is not the end of the sound. Now we need to, first of all, bring the master down and add a bit of more highs. And then we need to stack some different notes and harmonies on this sound. Okay, so let's go into the piano roll. So as you can see, here I have the notes of the reference that we're creating. While we were creating the sound, I was playing this F right here, but as you can see, you can play a very weird chord here. For example, you can do F0 plus G, plus G one octave up with a G sharp. And you get that very weird stuff. Now, if this sounds too bassy, you are probably going to need to cut it with an EQ and then 
I added another EQ with an automated movement to create that wow on the sound. You can also go back into Serum, bring the master down, bring the levels of all of this down, bring distortion a bit lower to take care of the possible dirtiness of the sound. Like that. You can change the filter. And as you can see, this process of this stuff can get super creative and you can shape this in many different ways. That sounds really nice. And now we can go into the MIDI and do something different. For example, we can do a D sharp minor like this, but instead of the fifth, let's bring it one semitone down. So it's like a diminished chord and then let's expand this third uh, one octave up and then let's add like a dissonant note. So we have this very weird, uh, horrible, like very, scary stuff. As you can see, you have a lot of uh, different possibilities with the MIDI and with the sound. Uh, again, we are learning how to create this type of stabs with a reference, but in the end, you will want to have your own original versions. So let's just do a D here, maybe. Let's stack it with a dissonant note and let's see what this sounds like. Nice. So, yep, this is the process of creating this type of sounds. That's going to be it for this video. But if you want to get super advanced and want to learn more sounds, we have many tutorials at dmbacademy.com. For example, we have sound sign courses inside of our main program, DMBA Foundations, which contains over 300 videos. And there's like tons of tons of hours of education there. We're working on a lot of updates. So if you want to get super advanced, you better not miss on DMB Foundations. If you want to get access to it, the link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Once again, if you want the preset, you can become a member of Preset Pass. Go to presetpass.com, subscribe, and share this with producer friends who you think would appreciate having these resources. Any ways of supporting this allows us to keep making this video. So if you're a fan of the YouTube, support us via buying our products, which are very good, and you end up with a really nice resource, and also sharing our stuff with your friends. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.